When I look at a part of a, a flower or a leaf under the microscope, it opens up this whole new world of, you know, these specialty hairs and all these um, cool glands on some of them. I'm Leslie Randall. I am a botanical artist and illustrator. Botanical illustration is, the focus has got to be on accuracy. If you have a beautiful drawing, but it's not accurate, it's basically worthless. Um, you really have to know the characteristics. Um, when I'm drawing, for publication, I work a lot with the botanist who is, has hired me to do the work. I'm producing, in general, a scientific document to accompany a written description of a plant so it will help people with identification and comparison with uh, specimens they may be collecting in the field. Other than my work as an illustrator, I have a full-time job at the San Diego Zoo as a horticulture manager. My father is a botanist. He studied the Malvaceae, which is the hibiscus and cotton family. Both my parents would go out looking at plants and drag my brother and myself along. I thought plants were really boring and, <laughs> and just liked animals. I love animals. I had originally planned to be a veterinarian, but when I was in college, I took a class in landscape architecture, just sort of a basic intro class, and I thought, oh, this is really cool. And um, I'd always liked to draw. To draw them really helped me to learn them and uh, focus in on the identifying characters. My father said, you know, they pay people to draw plants. It's like, oh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> I had an opportunity to work out at a botanical garden in Hawaii uh, as a summer intern, and I kept drawing plants because I was trying to learn this whole new suite of plant species that I'd never seen before because they're all tropical. and. Uh, the director had me draw a couple of illustrations for their publication. I think with the pen and ink and the style I do where I'm showing a lot of the details, the characteristics of things that I see under the microscope and everything, my goal is to have people really appreciate what makes that plant unique and special. Well, to produce a finished plate, which um, involves the, the sketching and things like that. Um, it's usually 30 to, anywhere from 30 to 50 hours. That doesn't even include um, the research that, you know, I would put into it about reading about the plant. Um, Uh, the best thing is to have the, the live specimen. And so I, there are a lot of plants that I want to draw and I will try and find it and grow it. And so I have it in my collection that I can um, go back and check details and I have a, a plant that I can draw from. It, it makes a huge difference. So I've exhibited in a number of international shows. The first one was the Margaret Flockton Award, which is in Australia. So I won top prize for an Aristolochia gigantea, one of my, my favorite plants because it is so bizarre. The elegance of just plain pen and ink I've always been drawn to and you know I find that people often there's a lot of plant blindness where people don't stop to take the time to, to learn about plants and I mean they're the reason everything else can exist. <laughs> 